here we are playing Doki Doki Literature Club per request by friends, family, as here in the background in my camera, you can see my sister is here alongside with me because she could not wait for me to play this game because I don't know nothing about it. I've never played this game, never seen anything about it. And she was so surprised, so taken aback, so appalled that I was forced to play this game. Please enter your name. Ebar. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Sounds like somebody I know. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. I don't know if I'll be friends with an annoying bitch like that, though. However, I just I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk, crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Why, do, why, why would I let that happen? Why not just leave? Also, please let me know if my camera um, box should be changed to like the top right or the top left for this game. I didn't think about that till now. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Bro, what is what is this? What is ha ha? But I caught you this time. I, I let you catch me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. I don't know why I did that. You know, I should have kept pushing. Eh, you say you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. I did. I did. I really did. That's mean, t -Varm. I don't care. You annoy me. Sarah wants me to check out some clubs. Let's go see what clubs we got, boys and girls. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. I mean, hey, look. When I was in high school, we had anime club. And I was part of that. I was also part of the chess club. The gaming club, too. Nerd! I thought I'd catch you uh, coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Damn, how long was I just sitting there? <laughs> like, that, like, bruh. Honestly, you're even uh, even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Oh, that's that's sad. You don't need to wait up. Um, you don't need to wait up for me if if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know, know what? Well, that you come uh, could come to my club, bro. It's probably a lame, whack ass club. Let's be honest. They are. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Fuck that shit. Eh, meanie. I'm like, bro, you you. Sayori is the vice pre president of the literature club. Who willingly joins a literature club? Who in the who sits there like, yeah, you know, out of all these clubs, the I like to read, but I ain't gonna join no goddamn club for it. I like to read in my own time. Then now everybody go to page five, line six. Tell me what you think about these drapes that they was talking about. You think the color was actually blue, or they would exaggerate? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to the anime club. We're we're gonna go in there. We're gonna talk about Naruto. We're gonna talk about Bleach, Megalobox, One Piece. Nerd! Um, there's gonna be that one weird kid in the in the back that'll be like, "Hey, we should watch High School DxD," and then we're gonna kick him out. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one. I kind of told the club yesterday I will bring in a new member. And now you're going to lie on my name? Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, damn, the bitches made cupcakes. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I, I would like to go with the latter. She's dumb. Dumb as rocks. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> oh, bruh. Come on now. No, bro, we can't, we can't, we can't fold this fast, bro. Bro, this, for the most basic three bitches in the entire school, you're going to fold like that. See, this is not me. This can't be me. It's great to see you again, Tiva. How do I know this woman? Um, I don't know this girl. Monica smiles sweetly. Are we in the same class? Oh, we got math together, don't we? We do know each other. Um, Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. See, same math class. Uh, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! 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 Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh, that's cute. Now, do they taste good? That's the problem. I don't care how they look. Do they taste good? The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate where 
little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears okay so cute i had no idea you were so good at baking natsuki Eehee. oh well you know just a hurt just hurry and take one Suri grabs one first and monica i follow it's delicious Suri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to um to get icing on her face Okay, they have to be like nicely sized cupcakes for you to get icing on your face like that. I'm like, cause like it was like, bro, like, 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 like first bite is like some little ones where you, like, like you got icing on your face. I'm like, what are you? I'm like, what are you doing? Now if they the big ones, like, where you? I finally bite down and I take the cupcake and I eat it. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Why are you thinking? It's not like I am. Because you made it. What do you want me to do? Thank God. <laughs> made them uh, made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayuri said, uh, well, well, maybe. I mean, like, the facts are in the pudding. Or in this case, the facts are in the cupcake. <laughs> Boom, you stink. So what made you consider the literature club? I was forced here beyond my will i am literally a hostage uh, such different girls all interested in the same goal monica must have worked really hard just to find these three probably not let's be honest not uh not much of a reader i guess she flamey ass cookie <laughs> she is, i like these pictures because you know i can't i can't read that good so the pictures help me out <laughs> What's that one little pop clip? This is good because I could barely read, so I like looking at pictures better. That one little pop clip where he said, he said, I like this because I can't read. <laughs> TT Bird, this game was made for a motherfucker like you exactly. No, it wasn't, bro. No, it was not. Just because I got manga in the corner over there don't mean shit. No, there's some books over there. There's, there's the... the Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll show y'all some real books. Hold up. I got some real books. See, look, see, we got, we got, we got this book right here. I got this book right here. They kind of, they kind of copy SAO for this type of book. They kind of SAO. Uh, they, they copy the fuck out of SAO for this. I got a book about survival techniques. I got, I got the 48 laws of power here. We, we got books. We read. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Oh yeah, fuck people. They're terrible. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Really? I wouldn't have uh, have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Oh, she got like serial killer vibes. I can see it. Especially how she doesn't talk to people. Yeah, I can see it. She most definitely kill a nigga. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Y'all just assume. I showed up and y'all assumed I was going to be a part of this. They gave me cupcakes and everything. Look, I know I came in good spirits, but y'all assumed that I was going to join. I still have other clubs to look at and um, I lose my train of thought. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I'll join the literature club. Bro, this nigga's a simp. Bro, they gonna have me write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be completely edgy, bro. All right, death. All right, all right. Um, misery. All right, we're going straight edgy, bro. Straight edgy. Okay, we're gonna go with pain. Uh, we're gonna go cage. We're gonna go with. We're gonna go with fear, depression. There we go. Edgy. There we go. Disown. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. I think that's a secure. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with massacre. Judgment. You know what? Fester. Fester's gonna be a good. Oh, I'm glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Bro, she over here threatening me with violence. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Hey, what manga you got? You got One Piece? No! Manga is literature. I, I agree with the sentiment. Nerd. 
Oh, oh, Yuri even br uh, brought you something today. Um, you know, wait, CR, what was she bringing? It, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Yeah, what you got? Sorry, made it made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? Yeah, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. You gotta put that arm on the shoulder. Hey. Well, here, she gives me a severed head. <laughs> Yuri reach, reaches into her, ba her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked, a, uh, picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? Damn, this nigga's a simp. Well, you can read it at your own pace. <laughs> that was a read book. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. I catch a glimpse the, of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. I think she noticed me looking at her. That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread re some of it. It's a very engaging and relatable story. There's an ominous um, looking eye symbol in the front of the cover. This is an Illuminati book? She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. How was that relatable? What do you mean relatable? You made it sound like like it was going to be a nice story. So that dark turn came from nowhere. It really did. Like, bro, it's say, it's say, bro. She moves her along. I said, well, that's a nice little slice of life book. And then she gets chased by mutants. Like, what? <laughs> Yuri, um, Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of uh, of that sort of thing, Tivar? I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. But also, this is a really weird book, though. You weird. All right, you're no longer basic. You are now weird. They challenge you to look at a, a life from a strange new perspective. Why would I want to look at life in the perspective of getting chased by weird mutant people from a prison? Like, what? What? What makes you think about that? What? What intrigues you about that? You need some help. I, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey! Don't, don't apologize. It's fine. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I thought you were about to say, like, I like to kill people. That just means you're passionate about reading. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get starting reading, right? <laughs> I slip into the seat next to Yuri's you know snuggled in you know ah yeah are you sure you seem a little apprehensive bro who actually says that oh you seem a little apprehensive no one says that fucking shit you're you you're, you really apologize a lot don't you I, I i do i don't really mean to sorry i mean <laughs> you're not used to reading right i don't know how to read I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main char character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, he, he, hey, he, he's trying to go, he's trying to go riz her up. He's going for the riz. How, how does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Nigga, haven't y'all met this, like, known this person for, like, one day, bro? Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. But Tivar, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bath way or anything. You, hey, look, you gotta you gotta redo the riz. You gotta redo the riz. Sorry, I really didn't know know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I I'm ugh, I guess I'm more I guess I meant more that it's cute. That's kind of cute. Ah. What are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone, bro. This is like day two. Man, they got game. This look, this dude really don't got game, bro. Like this dude's crazy. He had to re-riz, bro. He had to re-lock in. He dropped the ball.